what was the atmosphere like in, in the dressing room? <laughs> um, there was a lot of, um, obviously we were very happy with the way we played. So I think there was guys that were very pleased with, with the, the performances of the team. Um, so when we came off, guys were happy, but obviously not sure what was going on. So the change room was a bit chaotic for half an hour, waiting to see the table and wanting to see the table. Some people being impatient, keep looking at the TV screen, and some people keep looking at their, their phones to find out exactly what was going on. So it was a little bit chaotic because now we knew we had a chance, having played really well against Hampshire. But um, in the end, once we knew, uh, it was a great to be part of the change room. Everyone was really pleased and, and obviously looking forward to Thursday. On a personal note, the uh, NatWest T20 Blast has gone particularly well for yourself. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. It's been um, it's been nice to to play and have an extended run to play and 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 to be hitting the ball nicely and and taking people on and being aggressive, which is what I like to do as a player. So I've enjoyed um, I've enjoyed that role and um, contributing towards the team. I I love contributing and 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 winning games and. And hopefully we can do that on Thursday because I'm sure not just me, but there's there's a lot of players and supporters that would want more, you know, would really want us to get to finals there. Obviously, it's a, a lovely place to play cricket, Trent Bridge. Um, the, uh, the so-called experts in the media are making the home side favourites. Does the slight underdog tag maybe play into your hands a little bit? I don't know. I don't know if, if it plays into our hands or not. I don't think we as players are going to look at that too much. You know, they got a good side. they got a strong side. Uh, we'll have to play good cricket. Um, you know, so it'll be an exciting match. We had an exciting quarterfinal in the 50-over game this year yeah, at home. So I'm sure it's going to be pretty similar to, similar to that. So if you're a supporter, I'm pretty sure you'd want to get to the ground because it's going to be looking at, the, at what's been going on there maybe quite a high scoring game and maybe a bit of a chase so everything tells me that it, it's going to be an exciting game and a close one so and those are the ones that if you can get over the line it's ones you remember and it makes it it, it makes it so much better to be a part of last time we played them was in a quarter final at Trent Bridge they won their group we came fourth you know, some sort of went up there and, uh, and won the game made it to final state we'd love to see the same again would be lovely to do again, and I think of late we've actually played pretty well up there at Trent Bridge and, and all in different formats of the game also. So it's a ground that I think a lot of players yeah have good memories, which always helps psychologically. You know, if you have players that go to a place and go, yeah, I remember winning yeah or doing well yeah, that always helps. You know, so that's great for us. We we know we're we're up against a very good team, but you know, there's those good memories that we can we can you know bank on a bit. Obviously, it's been a bit of a roller coaster tournament for, for Somerset. There's been some ups and some downs, or ups, obviously. Um, you know, certain players have put in big performances, but the team hasn't quite fired yet. Would you say that's that's safe to say? When that happens, you know, someone someone could be in for a hiding, couldn't they? Yeah, it is. But 2020, 2020 cricket is always going to be a game where consistency goes out the window a little bit. It's such a game. It's a game that you, so many risks are taken. You know, and, and especially the way we've been speaking as a team, we want to be aggressive. We want to be really aggressive. We want to take chances. And although you use your experience to take calculated risks, you know, sometimes you're forced into taking more risks than than you want to, just out there in the middle. But we're we're happy playing aggressive cricket, and I suppose with that sometimes comes a little bit of up and down performances. But saying that, I think where we are now compared to where we were last year, we were a bit conservative. You know, there's a massive difference. So we'll go there. We'll we'll be aggressive and and you know, I trust our skills to to carry us through those the decision making. You mentioned it there. Has, has the whole team approached the competition in a in a completely different way to last year? Yeah, I think so. We had a chat about it. So we wanted to be more aggressive. We wanted to do, to put other teams under pressure. Uh, and like I said, with that, you're gonna sometimes make a few more mistakes. You're obviously trusting that your 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 skills are at a high quality. So when you do take those risks, um, your skills will carry you over the line. So, but yeah, we do want to be aggressive with both bat and ball and um, put people under pressure. And confident of uh, of taking the spoils and making it to finals day. Always confident. Um, we've got a lot of, like you said, we've got a lot of people in the dressing room that can win matches of cricket. Um, there's a lot of talented players at Somerset. And I think that is that's a good thing to have. You know, we don't just rely on, on one or two guys to to make 
the difference out there. We've got a lot of different guys that can can and have already won games of white ball cricket this season. So that's that's a great thing to know. And um, we've got a lot of depth with bat. Um, we've got a lot of options for the ball. And we're a much improved side in the field this season, which has also been a massive difference. So uh, there's nothing that suggests we shouldn't be confident.